are back with another episode of Angel in the Outfield. I definitely had some frustration at the end of the last video. I was really, you know, unhappy with the way I played, the way I finished that game. So sorry about that little frustration there, but it happened. Now, I did finish with only one upgrade in the video. However, a couple of you guys did point out that this play actually should have counted as an outfield assist for Mike Trout. I wasn't even thinking about it because the ball went to so many different players' hands to get that out, but by rule, yeah, it's an outfield assist. I did not count this one later in the game because this one kind of felt a little corny, but since he technically got two outfield assists, I feel like I should count at least one of them. So for this video, we are bumping it to two upgrades and we did not hit the like goal. It said at 8,000 likes for this video. So hit that thumbs up button for another upgrade. So the top comment I'm highlighting from the last video came from at Padres previews, who says get 94 Michael Young for the left side of the infield. And the other comment I'm highlighting is from uh oh 415 who said Kai you david robertson should join the team so the first upgrade goes to michael young i have not used this card but i do like the attributes that high contact with the middle of the road power usually plays pretty well he's not going to be the best fielder or anything but really i just need him there for his bat and the other upgrade is going to go to the bullpen 92 david robertson this card's got a five pitch mix with a cutter which i always love 125 clutch to go with his 115 hits per nine he should actually be a fairly effective righty in this bullpen. So those are the upgrades. We only have our third baseman left to upgrade for the offense. We have three more starting pitchers as well as four more relievers. So we're getting there. And I also got a lot of comments in the last video talking about changing up the Shohei Otani upgrade downgrade structure because I mentioned in the video that a lot of the times it just doesn't even feel worth it to pitch with Otani. So I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do yet, but I'm not going to worry about that today because it's probably going to be a couple days before we pitch with Otani again anyway. And one more thing. Thing. It's very possible that we see a 99 Shohei Otani come out in the game on Friday, whether he's a lightning card, whether he's an all-star game card. So if that does happen, we will try to find a way to incorporate him in the series, whether that's another level up mission, whether that's by another way. But that's something to think about in the future. We're not going to worry about that right now. Right now, I'm just trying to get a better game than I had in the last video. Here we go. We're taking on Nolan Ryan. Mike Trout is already down 0-2. Can DeGrom start the game with a strikeout? Oh, Colton, please. He's there. He should have that. Let's go. I decided to start Jacob DeGrom in this video because I used both lefty relievers I have for a good amount of time in the last video. So the lefty energy out of the pen is really short. So I'm going to keep Al Leiter available with his full energy to be able to possibly be used out of the pen in case I need to go to a lefty. Hold on. If he's going to be very late on a slider, I mean, I have to challenge him with a fastball, right? Michael Young, nice play. I am also sad to see Willie Adamas kind of get phased out of the team a little bit. He was actually pretty good. Seager, that may be the most unathletic thing I've ever seen. And then Jacob DeGrom does that. Take notes, Corey Seager. All right, got to get after it against Nolan Ryan. That's such a good pitch, man. Good fastball. Trout, what do you got for me, man? 0-2. Oh, <laughs> how did I do that? How did I get a perfect swing on that pitch? I swung right over the top of that. Uh, it's going to be caught. That was off the end of the bat. Didn't get the run in, but I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I am so impressed with myself on that Mike Trout two strike swing. It didn't even result in a run and I'm still like proud of myself. <laughs> Let's test Trey Turner high and in. Good pitch, DeGrom. Trouty. That's two outs. <sighs> Dangerous pitch, but we got through it. Hit it hard. Nothing to show for it. Acuna should... Yeah, yeah. Even if that ball is finding a glove, Acuna should beat that. Oh, man, I am not seeing that curveball well. Like, I can recognize it, but I'm not tracking the break at all. Come on, Michael Young. Uh, is he going to beat that? Oh, he went to second. All good. Got to get these runs in. Come on, we got to get on the board. That's not going to do it, man. What a terrible swing. So far, I am not reading the changeup and curveball against Nolan Ryan at all gonna be a really tough play for Michael Young. I don't think I'm getting him. Yeah, I knew it. It's 
just a great swing. I can't even be mad about this. Acuna, though, that... Oh, my God, that's a triple. Dude, I swear, Tim Raines is, like, one of my mortal enemies in this game. I just can't pitch to that guy. That's a big strikeout right there. Get him at first. Get him at first. Oh, it's Sano! Okay, hold on. Okay, it all worked out. That was almost so bad. And we're out of the inning. Wow, we limited the damage. Second time around. Come on. Got to make something happen. <laughs> I'm going to send Shohei Otani on this pitch. He got a bad jump. It was a breaking pitch, though. Come on, Shohei. <sighs> Not even close. It's 3-2 on Trouty. And Mike Trout, another two-strike perfect swing. That's an upgrade. Hold on, that's a hanging curveball. Did Rizzo get all of it? No. Oh my God, come on. I get it's not a perfect swing, but that's a hanging curveball over the middle. Come on. All right, Miguel Sano keeps the inning going. And then I do the same exact thing, man. I just cannot hit with runners on. I've left, what, five guys on base already and we're only through three innings? I'm like the Angels in real life right now. That ball kind of had some weird physics. I thought that was going to go towards right field, not towards center. Got him looking. Big pitch. Man, that's just a great swing. Got to get through another jam. Uh, I'm going to walk Santana, set up the double play. I'm going to have to face Acuna with the bases loaded. <sighs> Two outs, not done yet. I've got to face the guy that hit a triple. And we got him out, Jacob deGrom. Four really solid innings. The offense just has not been able to help him out. Dude, I've had a base runner on in every single inning. At some point, somebody's got to step up. Base hit. Two guys on for you, Michael Young. Don't tell me I'm about to leave two more guys on base. Brother, I'm not even gonna lie. My freaking console would be in the trash compactor. How does that happen? Come on, Shohei, add some more. Shohei Otani! That's a gap shot and a double. That might actually drive in too. I'm gonna try to get a triple with Otani. Why not? Set up Mike Trout for an RBI and he does it. Uh, how deep is this? Um, I, I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to do it. That's okay. That was only the first out of the inning. That should be plenty deep enough to get him in. What a swing from Rizzo all the way. Oh. He missed the throw. He kind of baited me. I thought that ball was hit a little deeper. Oh, watch out, Nolan Ryan. <laughs> Oh, man, the inning just keeps going. Um, I can't I can't send him there, but it's bases loaded again. No, dude, those were those were big runs. Hey, I finally had the inning I was looking for. The offense stepped up. There's still a lot of game left. Yeah, see, and I put a slider right over the middle of the plate to Mike Trout. I do have the bullpen warmed up. I would love if DeGrom could get through one more inning, but if something else kind of goes wrong here, then yeah, I'll, I'll pull the plug. Okay, only a double play away now. Trouty, we're there, right? Wow, come on, DeGrom, end your day with a strikeout. Put an exclamation on it. Let's go! Five phenomenal innings. From 87, Jacob DeGrom. Ooh, seeing our first lefty now. Ooh, Corey Seager doesn't care about a lefty. Shohei, you don't care about a lefty either, right? Ooh. That's on me, Shohei. You can blame me for that one. It has enough. Mike Trout 
two run home run add two more upgrades on one swing dude at this rate trout could win player of the game and even get another upgrade we'll have to wait and see there's still plenty of game left but this could be a big day of upgrades and actually now that i think about it trout is only a triple away from the cycle i don't know if i have cycle on the actual upgrades and downgrades list but i think we can all agree if mike trout hits for the cycle that should easily be an upgrade Ooh. Ooh. Lefty, lefty bomb. Lefty, lefty bomb for Tyler Soderstrom. That was a good pitch, too. I thought that slider, like, was in a good location. That's just a great swing. Ooh, that might be back-to-back. -back. I don't know what you're trying to throw to Acuna there. Back-to-back -back home runs. We're at nine runs now. Only one more for another upgrade. Oh, that's down. <laughs> We're hitting Michael Young. What did Michael Young do? Corey, you can't beat that? Dude, you had nine years to get down the line. You know what? That's okay because that sets up Otani getting a base hit to start off the bottom of the seventh and then Mike Trout hitting a two-run walk-off home run to secure the mercy rule in the bottom of the inning. <laughs> and that's a one, two, three. Let's walk this thing off with the big guys coming up. Shohei, that's a bomb. That's another upgrade. Actually, that's two upgrades because now that's 10 runs. Trout, win this thing. Did he do it? That's staying in the yard. No, no, no. That's such a tease. Dude, let's get this mercy. Come on. That's a free upgrade for us. Just get the mercy. Ooh. Don't let him get a run. Don't let that run come through. I should be able to turn off defensive indifference. I should be able to turn that off. That's so stupid. If you can mercy rule people, you should be able to turn off defensive indifference. Well, okay. The home run would have kept the game going anyway. Joe, Joe, we're one out away from getting to the bottom of the inning. Don't, what, what is this? What is happening? There you go. Go ahead and get one back just for good measure. All right, three outs away. I'm going to the newest upgrade. Oh, man, my pitchers are ready to field today. Popped him up. One out away. And Corey Seager makes a hell of a play to end it. That's a big win with a lot of upgrades. And yes, Mike Trout is player of the game. So that's another one. 11 runs on 20 hits. I mean, just an awesome game for the Angel in the outfield offense. Okay, let's count them up. We won the game and we scored 10 or more runs. That's two off the bat. Shohei Otani hit a home run. That's three. Mike Trout got on base two or more times, hit a home run, had two or more RBIs, and one player of the game. Seven upgrades in this episode of Angel in the Outfield. It could be eight if you guys hit the thumbs up button. And hold on, let me count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you guys hit the like button, we could legitimately finish this phase of the series before the start of the next video. That would be insane. So down in the comments, let me know where those seven upgrades are gonna go. It feels really good to have a game like this, man. It's been a while since the Angel in the Outfield squad has kind of clicked on all cylinders, and I'm so happy it happened right at the end of season two. Can't wait for the next one. I'll catch you guys then.